together. That's right. Because a lot of things happen when we come together. Amen. Now, sometimes we overlook. Mm -hmm. See, when we come together, we get to talk to each other. That's right. We get to speak to each other. We get to see right. something in each other's face that you can't see online. Amen. Just to be able to be in a place with people to see their smile, mm -hmm. to see what they're going through, to ask questions about ones that you don't see That's right. because we're concerned for each other. This is a place where we're family. Mm -hmm. we, we're all children of the Most High. Amen. We come into a place where we get to spend time Amen. with family. Amen. We get to spend time around family Amen. and talk to family. Exactly. And, and, and we can ask questions. Yes. Hey, how is he doing? Uh -huh. How you been? Right. What's going on? Uh -huh. See a smile. And I love it. Amen. It really does Amen. wonderful for me. Amen. I love we can sit at home. That's right. You can just push a couple buttons. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if you want a word on something, whatever specific thing you're dealing with, mm -hmm. man, you can put that in the search mm -hmm. and you can find a word on it. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, there are preachers online that are really preaching the word Amen. of God. They are Amen. really bringing Amen. forth Amen. a word Amen. that's timely that uh -huh. you can really grow from. Amen. So you can do that. That's right. And you can get it. I'm telling you, Amen. you really can get what it is that you need. But it's something that you get in here. Mm -hmm. In the house of God. That you can't get online. online. That's right. Amen. And I'm telling you, I, I just I enjoy. I'm looking around and I'm seeing the smile faces. I, I really love you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, I love you. Every Sunday, I'm gonna tell you. And so as we get started this morning, first thing I want to do, I, I just want to pray. Amen. I want to just thank God for giving us another day. Amen. I want to thank God for giving us another opportunity. Amen. I want to thank God in spite of all the things yes, that we are experiencing. You, he still granted us yes, another sir. opportunity yes, to be here. Amen. And so we come into his house. Amen. And so we want to at least acknowledge him Amen. in his house. Oh, How are you going to go to the house of the Lord <laughs> and don't acknowledge oh, him in his house? If you come to my house, you want to acknowledge, if you want to acknowledge me in my house, That's right. you understand? Know That's right. right or wrong. That's right. No matter who you came to see. Mm -hmm. Somebody can come to my house and see my wife, but right. they're going to acknowledge That's me exactly. in my house. Right or wrong. Amen. And so I want y'all to understand that when we come into his house, That's right. I'm not coming in here. Mm -hmm. Without acknowledging no, right now. I'm not coming in and talk about something, talk to you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I love him. And he yeah. loves me. Yeah. So we're going to acknowledge him first. Amen. Amen. And then we're going to move on. Amen. You know what I'm saying? So if you would, can we pray? Yes. Dear Lord, we just thank you so much thank you, Lord. for another opportunity oh, just to yes. be able to come together. We, we thank yes. you for thank another you. day. Thank we you. thank you for a day that we haven't seen, oh, a day that yes. we're never going to see again. Thank you. Lord, we thank you for just giving us another breath of life. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Lord, you spared us oh, yes, you through did. all the stuff that's thank going you, on in the Lord. world. You saw thank fit you. to give us another chance yes, and another Lord. opportunity. Thank you. Lord, we want to say yes. we love you today. Oh, yes. We want to say thank you on today. Yes. Thank you for all that you've oh, done. Yes. You I brought us through another yes. week yes. and another yes. chance, yes. another opportunity. Thank Lord, you spared us. Yes. Yes. We say thank you. Thank you. Lord, we ask that you would just come into this service on today. Take over the service. Yes. Lord, this is your house. Oh, yes. Your service on today. Lord, I ask that you would just take me out of the way. Yes. And that we would be able to receive a word from you on today. Oh, what yes. it is that you want to say yes. to us on today, we're open. We want to hear what you oh, have to say yes. on today. Oh, yes. Lord, we thank you for thank it. You, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 This is a microwave society. You know what I mean? We ain't got time to do that. We want to push a button. I was talking to my wife. If we go, get ready to go online, and we push the button, and it takes 30 seconds, uh, man, we mad. Man, that thing was slow. I'm talking 30 seconds. When we used to look for stuff, we used to have to go to Cyclopedia. Yeah. You know I mean? We used to have to sit here and research, find the right book, find, and it took time. Right now, 30 seconds. If I put that time into what my what my topic is, and I push that button, man, this thing is taking on. 
Man, this thing, this thing is slow today. That's right or wrong? Amen. Because we want it. We want it right here at our fingertips. Right just like that. Mm -hmm. Right now. Mm -hmm. And so today, we got it here at our fingertips right now. Amen. We have an opportunity to testify. Amen. Tell somebody yes. about the goodness of God. We, we spent all week. Let me tell you right now. God does something for all of us. Amen. All right, if you don't Amen. say something, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Look, look, all of us just say, thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you for what you have to do. So everybody say thank you. Yes. Right. So if you don't testify, it's okay. Yes. We acknowledge him right now. Amen. Lord, you've done so much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So much. Yeah. And we thank you. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Yes. Lord, I thank you. Yes. Hey, yes, yes. Yeah. So if anybody... First, give an honor to God yes, man. who's head of my life. Amen. I just want to thank him for all he's done, all he's doing, Damn. and all he's going to Damn. do. And I pray that he continue to keep me and my entire family, my extended family yes, all over the world, and that's my Christian brothers and sisters Amen. all over the world. <laughs> just keep us, lead us, guide us, use us to his glory. Amen. Amen. And I... I can't do nothing but just say thank you. Hey. It's so awesome. Amen. I can do it all. You know, I could be anywhere. I could be in my grave. I could be in a hospital. You know, or a family member or a brother or sister in Christ. But look at God. Look at God. I can't do nothing but say thank you. Thank you. Food on our table. Food on our back. You know what I mean? He's blessing us over and over and over. And I thank him for you, Pastor. To teach us the word of God. Thank you. And I thank your beautiful wife with her beautiful voice. And I, I just thank y'all. Every pastor that comes here, you know, take the time out for us. You know, because y'all don't have to do it. Because y'all love God. Just because we love God. So y'all come to share the word with us. And I want to say thank you. Is there enough? We don't want to leave you out. <laughs> well, I just, I just want to say uh, thank you as well. Amen. You know, because I had, I had a good week, man, and um, Praise God. God just been blessing us and everything has been going, going well. We've been able to get stuff done on time the way we're supposed to. I just want to say praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I want to say thank you, Lord, because he brought me from one week to another. He did All right. Yeah. Yeah. But he did. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
One yeah. bad set of circumstances. That's right. One miscalculation. Mm -hmm. And they find themselves in a real bad situation. So right. realistically, how far are we mm -hmm. from being Jesus. out of the street? Jesus. How far are we from yes. not having mm -hmm. the basic thing? Yes. From not having running water, electricity, mm -hmm. having heat, mm -hmm. having food in the refrigerator. Right. How far are we really mm -hmm. from being in that same situation? Yes. And so we take it for granted, but uh -huh. I want to tell the Lord, thank you, because yes, Lord, I yes. see how easy you could mess up just mm -hmm. a little bit. That's right. And then yeah. sometimes it ain't really that you mess up. Sometimes it's people who, you remember when the stock market crashed real bad? Mm -hmm. That was people who were so heavily invested in the stock market and things like that, that when that went bad on them, some of them people's situation, their lives changed. That's right. Totally. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. bad. That's Some right. took their lives yeah. because how traumatic it was, yeah. and so and so sometimes I mean I know I know we've been blessed. Amen. I know God is good to us. Amen. But sometimes you want to just make sure you just acknowledge who it is that's doing it for you. All right. Amen. You know, Amen. Sometimes we we feel like we did so much because. I worked hard. I saved money. I made good decisions. I, I, I got connected with the right people. And I did it. Man, I'm a success. I did it. But we're not. We're not for the grace of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We could be standing on the street. Amen. Amen. Hey, Amen. some of us, for the choices we made, I, I'm talking about me now. We could be in jail. That's right. That's right. I'm trying to tell you, some of us could be dead. That's right. Because of the choices we make. Uh -huh. We ran up on bad situations. That's right. But God saw fit. Amen. Yes. I, I'm going on and on, but I just want you to realize you, I understand where I came from. Mm -hmm. He brought me from a mighty long way. I, I was talking to my brother yesterday and I was telling him, I remember when I was homeless. Mm -hmm. I remember when I didn't have food to eat. I mean, I always had something to eat, but I, but I remember when I didn't have a whole lot of choices. About it. How about that? Yeah. See, see, right now we got choices. Mm -hmm. Man, you go in that refrigerator, you open that. Oh man, hey, some of y'all got so many choices. Oh, it, it's crazy sometimes. But I remember we really didn't have a choice. I remember uh, when my oldest son was a baby. Uh, money was so tight. Things were so tight. I remember going to the store buying a little pack of chicken mm -hmm. to cook. But I had to cook it to make sure the kids ate. And so after the kids ate, sometimes there wasn't nothing left. So at night, I made sure they ate, and I didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. But I was counting on going to school the next day. Remember? <laughs> In school, they would serve lunch, mm -hmm. breakfast. But I, I remember so well that it was just like that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so God has brought me from my own way. So I, I don't take it for granted. Amen. So Lord, I thank you thank for yes. all that you've done. Oh yes. I thank you for thank you, what you're doing. Oh yes. Because he's doing something right now. I thank you for what you're going to do. Amen. Because he's going to do something. Mm -hmm. We have another opportunity on That's today right. yeah. to yes. get it right. That's yes. right. And I said, Lord, I thank you for thank that. You, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Yes. Thank you. Hey, praise God. Well, I'm going to ask my wife to come. She's going to sing us a little song, a little praise and worship. What we're going to do, see see what praise and worship does in the atmosphere of this, just to try to get you to understand a little bit. Mm -hmm. See, we come in here with all kinds of stuff on our minds. That's right, yeah. Sometimes the praise and the worship kind of, what it does is it, it gets our mind off of what's mm -hmm. going on out there. That's right. And it puts us in a place mm -hmm. in mind. Where we can receive that. It gets the ground firm mm -hmm. so that now you're ready to receive. Mm -hmm. And so that's what it's all about. It's just, it's just getting us creating an atmosphere mm -hmm. so that God, as He spreads, He's everywhere. Amen. We create an atmosphere mm -hmm. that His Spirit can rest right. right in here with us and that we're able to fertilize, that, that, that our spirit is fertile now, it's open, mm -hmm. so that we'll be able to receive. What it is that he has for us. Amen. Amen. Once a day. Good morning. Good morning. Lord
Jesus if yes. you watch. Yes. 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 Jesus. Mm -hmm. If you watch. See, we can do everything we want to do, but if you watch, mm -hmm. yeah. then I'll be wise and listen. We realize that it's Jesus, yes. the sacrifice that He made yes. for us, that gives us an opportunity to be able to go to the Father mm -hmm. if He washes. You understand? It, it, mm -hmm. Because he made such a sacrifice for us mm -hmm. that gives us a way back to the Father. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you on today. Amen. Amen. If you would, we're going to get into the word. Okay. John, if you would, turn with me to John 19. John 19. John 19. And we're going to start at verse 25. 25. And we're going to go down to verse 30. 30. All right, John. John 19, 25, and 30. Amen? Amen. Amen. And it reads, There stood by the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Creek Popes, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing by, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her to his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scriptures might be fulfilled, he said, I thirst. Now a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there, and they filled a sponge with sour wine and put it on hassle, and put it to his mouth. Verse 30. So when Jesus received the sour wine, he said, it is finished, and bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank Amen. you for your word. Yes. Lord, we ask that you would just bless us to be able to receive what it is that your word has to say to us on today. We ask that you would just do what only you can do, that we will be blessed and be able to use what it is that you give us yes. as we move forward in the work of the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In verse 30. If you would go over to Luke, it's another interpretation of the same incident. And in Luke 23, verse 46, and here's the way that reads. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hand I commend my spirit. And had said this, he gave up the ghost. Now, I wanted to mention that to you because it's something very important that I want you to understand. That although they wanted to kill him, they didn't kill him. He gave up the ghost. Amen. I, I want to make that plain just so as we move forward today, I want you to understand that they did not take his life. Mm -hmm. That's what they wanted to do. They were screaming in the street, crucify him. But they didn't take his life. When his mission was complete, he said it was finished. Mm -hmm. And he gave Amen. up. Amen. Amen. Amen? Amen. For a topic today, I want you to just think on this with me. The last words of Jesus. The last words of Jesus. When we read the story about Jesus. It was a point when Jesus knew his time on earth was running short. And John 13 through John 17, it gives an account of Jesus' last actions and words. I'm not going to go through them all, but I want you just to see he knew his time was short here on earth. 
So I'm going to give you an account of some of his actions, some of his words. In John 13, 4, 17, Jesus washed the disciples' feet. Why? He wanted to teach them about serving. You understand? In John 13, 21 through 30, Jesus told them that one of them would betray him. He knew what was happening. He knew his time was short. John 13, 31 through 33, Jesus told them he would be leaving. And where he was going, they couldn't follow. Jesus gave them a new commandment. In John 13, 34, he gave them a new commandment to love one another. Jesus wanted them to know that he, Jesus, was the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to the Father except through him. The very last words Jesus spoke. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And he said, it was finished. What was Jesus saying? when he said it was finished. What was he saying? He said it was finished. He was saying, my purpose, my assignment, my mission, my work here on earth is complete. He's gotten to a point where he's done so many things. Uh, the disciples walked with him. He's he done so many marvelous things, but he's gotten to the point now where he's on the cross. He said, my work here, I've done what the Father asked me to do. My assignment now is finished. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen? Here on earth, it's done. I stayed the course. Mm -hmm. In spite of the things that's happened, in spite of the pain, in spite, in spite of the betrayal, in spite of the lies, in spite of the beating, he said, it's finished. Jesus is recorded saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Well, in the flesh body, feels pain, feels suffering. He said, if there's another way, if there's another way we can do this, if, if, if there's another way, because this is tough. I, I walk with these people, I, I, I served them, I, I healed, I blessed them, mm -hmm. but now they're saying, crucify him, kill him. Mm -hmm. Lord, if, if, Father, is there another way? Mm -hmm. I, 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 but not my will. Lord, I'm going to do what you ask me to do. Father, I'm going to do what you ask me to do, but is there another way? Mm -hmm. Is there another way we can do this? Is there another, I, I mean, is, this is not so easy. Amen. He's in the flesh body like us. Amen. He's feeling the pain Amen. that the body would feel. You got to understand. He's God. Mm -hmm. But he's in the flesh body. The pain that you would feel in your body if somebody hit you. He felt that. Mm -hmm. The pain that you would feel if somebody cut you. He felt that. Somebody kicked you, spit on you. He felt those things. Yes, he did. And he said, Father, there be another way. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. I would pray that same prayer. I mean, right now, I'm not suffering like he's suffering, but I sometimes ask that same question. Mm -hmm. yeah. Father, you telling me, you're asking me to go, I, I don't want to go there. Mm -hmm. You're telling me to do, but I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Father, is there another way? Can I do it another way? Can I sit at home and watch it on TV? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hold on now. Hey, hey, can, can we do it another way? Can I just sit back? Because people don't want to hear what I have. Can I just sit back and be quiet? Mm -hmm. I would rather do it like that. Can I just do it another way? Oh, man, it ain't so easy. Uh -huh. I thought it was easy. I thought maybe when I decide to serve God, I figured it was going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm rolling with the Father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm rolling with the Father. It's going to be easy. But not so. But not so. Jesus said, I have fulfilled the will of the Father. And we now have a way to the Father. We have a way back to the Father. 
What it was is man has sinned and come short. We had no way back to the Father. He had to come and sacrifice his life. Now we can come boldly to the throne of grace <coughs> that we may obtain mercy and find grace in our time of need. Jesus said it's finished. He said it's done. In John 14, he said, I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again to receive you to myself, that where I am, there you will be also. He said, in my Father's house there are many mansions. In John 14, 16, and I will pray to the Father, and he said, I'll send you another comfort. That's something I want to stop and talk about just for a minute. He's talking to the disciples. He's telling them he has to go. He said, my mission here, my purpose here, is done. It's finished. But you've been walking with me. And I told you, I'm, I'm, I'm walking with the Father. They've been walking with Jesus. All of their needs been met. They've been going places. He's been healing people, doing things, feeding people. Now he's going to be gone. That's who they were looking to for the things that they needed. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm gone. But when I go, I'm going to prepare a place for you. That where I am, Jesus said, where I am, you will be also. Mm -hmm. So he gave them, he said, but in my absence, I'm going to pray to the Father, and he's going to send you a comfort. What's comfort? The Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit. Why did he send the Holy Spirit to dwell with us? so that we never have to walk alone. Mm -hmm. See, they have been walking and talking and communing with Jesus. And now he's going to be gone. He said, but I'm going to send someone with you. You're never going to be alone. You're going to not have to deal with the things of the world by yourself. I'm going to send you a comfort. Well, what's the comfort you're going to do? He's going to lead you into all truths. He's going to give you a better understanding. He's going to walk with you. He's going to talk with you. When you get nervous and don't know where to go, he's going to be right there with you to give you an answer to all them tough questions that you can't figure out on your own. He's going to lead and guide you. A good man steps in order. He's going to be right there with you. As you step, he step. When you move, he move. Just like that. Right or wrong, he's going to be right there. That's what the comfort is going to do. I would not leave you comfortable. He loves us so much, I can hear him saying to his father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. When we accept Jesus, we never have to walk alone. He said he'd be with us even until the end of time. He said it is finished. We're here on a sign. We're here for a purpose. We have work to do. Some of us are afraid. Some of us are unsure. Some of us are worried. I can see Jesus on the cross. In my mind, see, I read so much, I can see Jesus on the cross. I can see him. I can see him on the cross. Beat with a crown of thorns on his head. Bleeding. Two men beside him, one on each side. They acknowledge why they're there. They acknowledge that they're living a life of sin. But I see Jesus on the cross, guilty of no crime, committing no sin, hanging there on the cross. The same Jesus that fed the home. That Jesus is hanging there on the cross. The same Jesus that healed the sick is hanging there on the cross. The same Jesus that gave sight to the blind. The same Jesus. That healed the lepers. Mm -hmm. The same Jesus that fed all those who were home. Mm -hmm. The same Jesus that got him hanging on the cross. The same Jesus. Same Jesus. The same Jesus. Mm -hmm. I heard him ask his father, if you could remove this cup. I hear him in my mind. That, he said that before, but I can hear him in my mind. Is, is there another way? The same Jesus that raised Lazarus from the dead. He's on the cross for your sin. He's on the cross for my sin. I, I can see him. In my mind, I, I can see him just hanging there.
for your sins and for mine. Jesus said, it's finished. He died, but on the third day he rose. Amen, with amen. All, power all power in his hands. Amen. First Corinthians 15, 51, it says, O death, where is thy stand? And grave, where is thy victory? Mm -hmm. Jesus came with a purpose. To give us, you and me, a way back to the Father. He paid the price he did. that we couldn't pay. Thank you, Jesus. His love for us. Thank you. His love for us. Hallelujah. Is so Thank deep. You. His love for us is so Over. deep. Over. Let me ask you a question. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Does death mm. mean doom? Mm. Does death mean doom? Mm. Because sometimes that's the way we think of death. Death, we're doomed. Mm. Death. Jesus' death on the cross, it meant, one, it meant fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Fulfillment. Mm -hmm. He fulfilled the scriptures. Mm -hmm. It meant accomplishment. He accomplished his assignment. It meant victory. Victory. Grave, where is thy victory? Mm -hmm. I wasn't there when Jesus said it was finished, but I can imagine joy. No more suffering in this body. He, he, he's on the cross. Mm. I can imagine joy now. No more suffering in this body. Mm. I, I, I did what you asked me to do, but it's over now. It's done. I did it. As hard as it was, walking through those situations, I can imagine joy. I'm at the end now. Joy. Does that mean do? Joy. I'm where I'm supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I imagine it meant relief. It's hard, but I stayed the course. I, I, I'm just imagining. I wasn't there. But I can imagine. I see him on the cross. Love. In John 17, 4, I have glorified thee on earth. I have finished the work which thou have given me to do. He loved us so much. Amen. A lot of us are afraid of dying. Amen. We're afraid of doing what God told us to do. We might be killed in the street. Amen. If people do what God tells us to do, we're afraid that people will start talking about us. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. They're going to start hating on us. They're going to start making our lives tough. Uh, God tells you to go and talk to someone, but they don't want to hear what I have to say. God tells you to do something, but, but nobody wants to listen to me anyway. Well, if I go, here comes that Jesus lady again. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to Hey, when they... When the, People knock on your door, you peep out and say, oh, no, oh, no. Hey, y'all know what I'm talking about. But they, they come and they knock anyway. We don't have to worry about dying. That's what I came to tell you today. We don't have to worry about dying. We don't have to worry about it. Go where God tells you to go. Do what God tells you to do. In spite of what people would say, in spite of, in spite of how they're going to treat you, in spite of what it's going to cost you. Because some of us are scared because God tells us to do something to somebody and we feel like, I barely got enough to do for myself. I can't really do a whole lot for nobody, but in spite of what it costs you, keep striving, keep striving, keep serving, keep sharing. It won't kill you. In spite of what you might think, in spite of the doctor's report, we believe that God is in control. Amen. 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 We believe that God is in control. Oh, yes. yeah. And it's not over until he says it's over. Amen. Amen. He said, the last words of Jesus was his finish. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you what. In your situation, when the doctor gave that bad report, I know we were, when the repo man is coming, the, 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 you can't pay the mortgage when those guys are coming. See, the last word that Jesus said, it was finished, right? But let me tell you who has the last word in all your situations. See, his last word was that it's finished. But he has the last word in your life and in your situation. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to break you. Amen. It's not going to hurt you the way that you think it is. It's going to hurt sometimes. 
but it's not going to kill you because it's not done until he says. Amen. It's finished. Amen. In spite of what you're going through, mm -hmm. in spite of how tough it is, in spite of not wanting to go and wanting to do, he has the last word. Yes, he does. Amen. Hey, hey, thank you. Amen. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he has the last word. The doctor told you something, mm -hmm. he's going to have the last word. Amen. Hey, the mortgage man told you something, mm -hmm. but he don't get the last word. That's right. That's right. The repo man thank you, Lord. coming for your car, mm. but he don't get thank the last you, Lord. word. Thank you, Lord. The last word of Jesus was, uh, it's finished. Yes, sir. But oh. until he tells you, mm. oh. your mission mm. is done. Yes. Until he tells you your assignment is done. Mm -hmm. Until he tells me it's over for you, mm -hmm. <coughs> you don't have to worry. Amen. He gets the last word. Amen. Yes. See, we, we worry. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. Oh, uh -huh. man, we worry. Yes, back. We but it's not over. Yeah. Oh, he gets God. the last word. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It's a song that says, I love the Lord.
last words where it's finished. Ooh, it's Jesus. done. Yes. It's assignment. Jesus. On earth. Ooh, Lord, 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 yes. He did what he came mm -hmm. to do. He did what the Father yes. asked him to do. Amen. I'm going to ask you now, the Father is asking us something. Amen. The Father is talking to us. He's given us something to do. Amen. Will we say yes to his will? Oh, yes. Will we say yes to his way? <coughs> because his way is not like our way. Amen. Amen. We, we, we move when he say move, but we don't understand all the time the outcome. Amen. Because we're limited mm -hmm. into what we can see. That's right. But if you do what he asks you to do, mm -hmm. He said, you never have to walk alone. The Holy Spirit will be there with you. Amen. 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 You never have to be alone again. Amen. You never have to deal with whatever the situation is again Thank you, Lord. by yourself. Never Thank again you. will you have to be alone. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Love you and be with you. Thank you. Do whatever it is. Thank you, Lord. Even Thank until you. the end. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. End of time. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Glory, glory. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you on today. Yes, Lord, Lord, we thank you for yeah. just mm. being here with us on today. Thank you, Lord, we thank you for talking to mm. us today. We thank you for sharing with thank us today. You, we thank you for communing here with us on today. We yes, ask that Lord. you would just yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. hide that word in our heart. Yes, yes, yes. Lord, we ask that you would just yes, uh, 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 cause it to come up when we need it. Oh, yes. Lord, when we find ourselves alone, when we find ourselves in a bad situation, when we find ourselves not knowing what to do, Lord, we ask that you would just oh, yes. bring that to our yes. remembrance. Yes. That we never, never have to be alone. Yes. That you're with us yes. through whatever the situation is. That you'll be with us. Yes. Stay with us. Walk with us. Talk to us. Yes. Share with us. Yes. Commune yes. with us. Oh, yes. Give us a better way to understand. Yes. Lord, thank you. Thank you. For loving us. Thank you. For caring thank you. For yes. for us. Lord, we yes. love you today. Mm. We ask that you would just go with us. Oh, yes. Lord, as we leave this place, but Lord, yes. never, never, yes. never leave in your presence. Mm. Mm -hmm. Lord, yes. we ask thank that you. you would just be with us. Walk yes, with Lord us. Jesus. Lord, carry us through whatever yes. it is that we have to do. Yes. Stay with us. Yes. Lord. Give us even a better understanding of your will and your way for our Lord. Oh, thank yes. you for all that. Yes. yes. Thank in you, Jesus' name thank we you. pray. Jesus. Jesus.